Hello, my name is Kayla Schaefer and I'm the Internship Director at Children's Minnesota. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about our site. I'm going to share some slides to tell you a little bit more about our internship here. So the internship experience at Children's Minnesota includes experience on two hospital campuses, one in Minneapolis and one in St. Paul. We have 432 staffed beds, and we are the only system in Minnesota to care exclusively for children. This picture that you see here is our pre-COVID days when one of our interns was giving an adapted ukulele lesson to a patient um, in our PICU. Interns here get to experience a variety of units and populations, including medical surgical, neuroscience and epilepsy, hematology, oncology, both inpatient and in the outpatient clinic setting, all the critical care units, pediatric, intensive care unit, neonatal, and cardiovascular, and um, get to work with patients in our Center for the Treatment of Eating Disorders program, where we primarily support them through root pro programming. The intern experience includes individual, group, and family sessions on all of the units, we serve patients from ages zero in the NICU to young adults with a variety of acuity diagnoses and conditions. Interns do split their time between both campuses. They have three supervisors, me being one of them here in St. Paul, and two other supervisors, Aaron Fries and Sarah Wooliver in Minneapolis. Interns also have a co-intern. So at the time an intern starts, they will have a senior intern who has been here for three months and that intern, co-intern, will leave in three months, which will leave the, a, a junior intern, who will then become the senior intern. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here for interdisciplinary collaboration, and we co-treat a lot with other disciplines, including rehab specialists, PT, OT, speech, spiritual care, child life, social work, psychology, and of course, nurses and doctors. The application process and deadline are here outlined for you. You can email me. Please be aware of the spelling of my name if you'd like information on our internship, including the application. We have two deadlines a year, one in May and one in November. And our next application deadline at the time of this video is May 1st, 2021. We accept, we start uh, interns January, April, June, and September. So there's a rolling admission. Ideal candidates for our site will be highly competent musicians, including strong vocal skills, strong guitar skills, piano and percussion experience. Of course, being able to adapt music in the moment and play a variety of repertoire is key. Strong interpersonal skills. Um, we meet a lot of new people every day. We are introducing ourselves and introducing our services multiple times a day. And we work with a huge team in the medical setting. Ideal candidates will also have sensitivity and a level of maturity when working with critically ill children and their families. This is an intense setting. It's fast paced, changes every day. No two days are alike and we are asked to be involved in a lot of sensitive situations. Ideal candidates will also have a solid understanding of the relevant research literature, clinical language, and creative interventions. Always being able to draw from our evidence-based practice and our research literature to design the most effective interventions for our patients as possible. Some testimonials of our former interns here at Children's Minnesota. The theme that we have um, interpreted from our feedback is that interns really appreciate being offered a diverse spectrum of clients and patients that we get to work with from different diagnoses, different developmental levels, different family makeups, and different cultures and backgrounds. Again, no two people are alike and no two patients that we serve here are alike. Also, the opportunity to work on such a large team has been feedback we've received that interns really appreciate as well. 
Again, here is my contact information. Here's a favorite picture of mine working with a baby on our neuroscience epilepsy unit. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have further questions or would like application materials. Thank you so much for learning a little bit more about Children's Minnesota, and I look forward to hearing from you. Hi, everybody. My name is Lauren Service, and I'm the Internship Director at Riley Hospital for Children in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about our internship program today. We are part of Riley Children's Health, which is part of Indiana University Health, which is the largest healthcare system in Indiana. Riley Children's Health encompasses all of the pediatric services available through IU Health throughout the state. Um, but our hospital is Riley Hospital for Children, which is a standalone pediatric facility of about 300 inpatient beds and a ton of outpatient services and soon to be more inpatient beds as they continue adding on. Here's a little information about our internship program. We accept one intern per year, usually with a start date in September, and applications are due on February 1st. Interns usually work full time, but we can be somewhat flexible with that if you have special circumstances we want, need to work around if you're the right fit for our internship. We provide parking, but no stipend at this time, although it is something we are um, in talks about. Um, the internship is divided into an orientation period plus three to four intensive rotations. So during those rotations, interns get to work very closely with one music therapist and um, really delve into their area of expertise. And you can find information and application materials at that website right there. Our um, hospital is very comprehensive and has a lot of subspecialties. Some of the um, specialty areas that you um, will come into contact with if you're our intern um, are listed here. So we've got cardiovascular surgery and cardiology, neonatal intensive care, hematology oncology, stem cell transplant, plastic surgery and burn, pediatric intensive care, and many others. Here's our team. That's me. I'm Lauren. Um, I've got advanced training in some NICU music therapy techniques, and I'm the internship director. Right now, I primarily serve our NICU. Caitlin Crater um, covers our Cancer Center Stem Cell Transplant Unit and Burn Center. Jenny Kaufman covers intensive care, cardiac ICU, and heart center. And Kaylin Hagedorn covers our rehab unit and um, many different medical and surgical areas as well. And they both have their NMTs um, as well. Here's a little bit about our philosophy of music therapy. Um, at Riley, we did um, some, some work to really identify how we best fit in, fit into all of the different specialty services that are available for family support. And this is what we came up with. Um, all of the goals and objectives we create for patients and families filter into one of these three overarching domains. And those are distress management, where we provide pathways to improve psychological, behavioral, and physiological functioning. Functional skill reinforcement, where we support and enhance patients' ability to engage in activities which assist in slowing or halting decompensation, building tolerance to stimulation, and or gaining functional skills. And resilience. So we support patients and families' ability to endure, manage, or overcome stressors. We are funded by the Riley Cheer Guild, which is amazing. Um, they are a volunteer auxiliary that provides comfort and cheer to patients and caregivers at Riley Hospital for Children and the IU Health Adult Hospitals in downtown um, Indianapolis. Uh, our boss is also an MTBC, which is really great. So she leads the Riley Cheer Guild and controls the funding that comes into um, music therapy, as well as managing the music therapy program. So that's a real blessing for us. You can um, find out more about the Riley Cheer, Cheer Guild and the music therapy program on social media. So check out our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and then also if you go to Riley Children's Health Facebook, they've got um, a whole bunch of stories about music therapy there as well. Um, one other question I often get asked is what kind of intern we are looking for. 
So um, if you are thinking about applying, we just want to make sure that you are really passionate about pediatric medical because this is something that we are all very, very passionate about and we love to talk about our passion with other people who share that passion. Um, so if you've got a passion for pediatric medical, we wanna hear from you. And we also want you to be practicing because we've got a lot of really intense experiences that we share with our interns and help them grow through. And um, we don't want you to be kind of hung up, worried about your musical skills when you're processing those and learning some of the more um, clinical decision-making skills and how to build therapeutic rapport and all this other stuff. So we kind of want you to have the music skills already. So make sure you're brushing up on your guitar, piano, vocal skills. Um, make sure you're very functional, especially on guitar, because that's the most portable instrument we can take into most rooms. So um, go to this website to learn more or email me with your questions. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye. My name is Ann Morrow. I'm the senior music therapist here at Tier the Woodlands, as well as the internship director. I hope you enjoy this video showing our unit, our team, and what we have to offer. And I hope you will consider making Tier the Woodlands your internship home. Enjoy. Welcome to Tier Memorial Hermann in the Woodlands, Texas. We are a specialty unit located inside a general hospital. We have 29 patient rooms, as well as an outpatient pediatric and adult clinic. We have three full-time rehab physicians, eight physical therapists, eight occupational therapists, four speech and language pathologists, one recreational therapist, and one music therapist. This is where the music happens. Here we focus on neuro rehab, where we treat brain injury, spinal cord injury, and neurodegenerative diseases. 90% of my treatments are co-treatments with another discipline. and music therapy is an integral part of the rehab process here. Here is our office space, which is shared. And here are our music therapy supplies. I have students do a physical adaptation, a cognitive adaptation, a what is music therapy PowerPoint presentation, as well as a budget proposal and a research article review. We have a fully equipped ADA kitchen. We treat each patient individually and even treat outside at Wolf Park. We offer free parking, discounted meals, and budget conscious housing options. We have a nutrition station available for patients and staff and our outpatient clinic is available for music therapy co-treatments with a therapist request. Our pediatric clinic is located on the fifth floor. Check out all the possibilities. Thank you for your interest in the Institute for Rehab and Research Memorial Hermann in the Woodlands. We are family caring for family. Contact me for more information. Hello, I'm Dr. John Mondanero, Clinical Director of the Louis Armstrong Department of Music Therapy at Mount Sinai Beth Israel within the Mount Sinai Health System of New York City. I'm pleased to be talking to you about our music therapy internship today. We've been training future music therapists since 1994 when Dr. Joanne Lowy founded our program and we're quite proud of our history. I'm gonna take you through a few slides now to share our story. Our story starts with Louis Armstrong himself. Louis was a patient here many years ago and part of his legacy was that through music therapy, patients and families could experience the transcending power of music like he did when he played the trumpet. We carry Louis's legacy with us into our daily work and we like to think that Louis watches over us. 
There are nine hospitals across the Mount Sinai Health System, and our programming spans most of these. Our interns are often tracked across several of the hospitals during their internship, and we do this to ensure a rich, integrative experience. We also love New York City, and this feature affords our interns opportunities to get to know the city themselves. This is our team, which includes not only music therapists, but administration, doctors, and a nurse. Our music therapy staff are trained at the master's and doctorate level, and all are board certified and licensed mental health professionals. We work and train across five distinct areas, clinical care, outreach, research, education, and marketing and fundraising. I'm going to talk further about each of these areas because as an intern here, you will be engaged in each area to some degree. Clinical care is the crown jewel of our department. Our care of patients, families, and staff is through a lens of medical music psychotherapy, how the mind affects the body and the body affects the mind, and that music within a therapeutic relationship can provide an essential bridge. We follow a wellness philosophy, focusing on quality of life, looking beyond illness and symptoms, and taking a holistic approach, integrating body, mind, and spirit. To this end, we focus on live music, using improvisation, pre-composed song, and entrainment. We also use recorded music in areas where recordings are clinically indicated. But even then, the therapeutic relationship informs the creation of these recordings. We also pay close attention to culture and diversity in families and across the lifespan. We also attend to the sound environment of the hospital itself through environmental music therapy. Our outreach efforts are both externally and internally directed. We provide services to vulnerable populations in the community, including musicians themselves, children, and people of all ages living with respiratory illness, Alzheimer's, and navigating life post-COVID. We have a weekly stroke choir for stroke survivors and their caregivers. Here, we're studying the impact of communal singing on mood and quality of sleep. Our outreach also includes bridging talented musicians in the community who wish to offer their talents through our Visiting Artist Series, contributing internally to hospital, community, cultural events, and wellness fairs. Throughout the pandemic, we've been caring for our hospital staff through our trauma-focused PATHS program and by offering virtual Louis Zoom rooms that provide 20-minute experientials with rejuvenating music, played live, of course. Research is an important part of our work here, and our interns are involved in many aspects of our studies, from the rendering of live music-based interventions to recruitment and enrollment and data collection. We work collaboratively with doctors and nurses, taking a mixed methods approach where we measure quantitatively what can be measured, like heart rate, respiration rate, oxygen levels, and speak qualitatively about the rest, the nuances of music therapy. And we publish our findings in high-impact medical journals. Our educational initiatives not only include the internship, but research fellowships and international scholars. So our interns are exposed to music therapists from around the world. This exposure continues through our affiliation with the International Association for Music and Medicine. You can join any time, and maybe one day you'll find yourself saying, I am, are you? Membership gives you access to cutting edge research around the world. We also offer annual symposia on topics that have spanned pain and trauma to neurology and technology, much of what has been published in our growing library of books available through Satchnote Press, our own publishing company. Finally, we engage our interns in our ongoing initiatives in marketing and fundraising, such as our annual gala, Wonderful World, because we believe in their capacity to go out and build programs if they are so driven. Engagement in these endeavors teaches an understanding of program sustainability. It's also fun. This year we honored Nora Jones and collaborated with John Batiste and Esperanza Spalding. You can follow our work on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as at www.musicandmedicine.org. Thank you for watching. I hope we've been able to answer questions about our music therapy internship. And here's more. While we consider our training to be a graduate level training, we do accept applications from undergraduate candidates. If you feel that you're right for this internship and it's right for you, please do submit your application. Include winds and strings and any languages you speak. While these are not prerequisites for our internship, they do weigh positively in your favor. 
We accept applications annually from December 1st through April 30th. But here's the gold. Don't wait. We begin accepting candidates as early as December 1st, and so those waiting until April are often vying with many for the few remaining spots. We look forward to receiving your application. Good luck. Hello, internship candidates. My name is Danae Merrick. I am one of the MTBCs and the internship director slash supervisor for the Atrium Health Levine Children's University Affiliated Placement. We are located in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we serve a 235 inpatient bed unit. We serve both pediatrics and neonatal patients. At Levine Children's, you can expect to gain experience in a variety of different areas um, with most of the following diagnoses as we serve children all the way from infancy to young adult. Um, needs related to pain and anxiety management are prioritized above all others, and some of the diagnoses you may encounter while you're here are pediatric and neonatal general and cardiac intensive care. Specifically, you're going to meet and work with patients who um, have had trauma-related experiences, a cardiac diagnosis that requires a repair or possible heart transplant, in addition to other organ transplant and repair cases. Also, we have our pediatric and neonatal intensive and progressive care. So this would also be a continuation of trauma and repairs, transplants. We also specifically serve neonatal patients who are diagnosed with neonatal abstinence syndrome. We also have medical surge populations. This could be respiratory related, orthopedic related, and other various diagnoses that you could encounter here. For behavioral health, we do have a unit that we serve uh, children who have had adverse childhood experiences, ACEs, and also um, patients who have eating disorders. And lastly, we have our intensive rehabilitation where we will have a weekly opportunity to be able to co-treat with physical, occupational, and speech therapy in our intensive rehabilitation unit. The approximate duration of this internship is seven months. It's a bit longer than six months due to the 36 weekly hour schedule that is adhered to by all of the NTBCs serving at Levine Children's. Arrangements are made at your midterm for you to assume a 40 hour week based on how far you've progressed with music, clinical and music therapy skills. Now, I do want to let you know there are several important considerations to keep in mind prior to beginning the application process for us. And I'm going to outline them, but please contact me for further information to discuss, the, to discuss this even more. So number one, our program is limited to accepting applications from candidates who are attending universities that already have an existing affiliation with Atrium Health. As of January 2021, when I'm making this recording, our education department is not considering any new affiliations. So I apologize for that. Please contact me to find out if your school is included. Music therapists, number two, at Atrium Health have continued to serve patients and families throughout the COVID-19 health pandemic. However, there are limitations to the instrumentation that we can use. Um, in addition to our previously established weekly groups um, having been temporarily discontinued or suspended indefinitely. So you're only going to get individualized setting experience. Uh, third, we have an inpatient unit dedicated to patients with hematology oncology diagnoses, including a bone marrow transplant unit. However, experiences will be limited to this unit due to our current coverage model. Lastly, our internship placements are temporarily suspended. We are anticipating an acceptance of applications beginning with our January 2022 placement, which those applications would be due the fall of 2021. When we start accepting those applications again, and to find out more information about our program, you can visit the following web address, www.levinechildrens.org 
slash music therapy, and I'll spell that out, L-E-V-I-N-E-C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N-S dot org slash music therapy. And lastly, you can contact me, Danae, at my email address here, and it does go by my first name. It's Angela.Merrick, M-E-R-R-I-C-K, at atriumhelp.org. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. We can sing. Integrative therapies are really important to our patients because they complement the care we provide. So at the start of your internship, your first three months are at Western Psychiatric Hospital, where you can expect to see all mental health diagnosis in really all ages there. And in this setting, you're going to be working with groups. Interns start their UPMC journey here at Western Psychiatric Hospital, and our focus on the first three months is on building musical, clinical, and leadership skills, as well as confidence and trust in one's own abilities as a music therapist. I work on a variety of our floors using skill building groups to help patients in the psychiatric crisis uh, to learn how to cope, overcome, and develop a life worth living. Uh, our groups can range in any size from you know, three or four to up to 15. Uh, I serve populations from our children's group, which uh, serves ages four to 14, uh, all the way up to our full grown adults. And we even have geriatric floor here uh, at Western Psych. What I love the most about our internship program is the fact that our interns can gain experience working with a large variety of clinical populations that are served by music therapists and they get to work with all ages. Then when you come over here to Children's Hospital, which is the second half of your internship, you can expect to see all ages as well. So we see neonates up until mid-20s here. Most of our work here at Children's is individual work and we heavily work in family-centered care as well. So you may be seeing parents and siblings and other caregivers at bedside as well. When you're here, you're gonna have the opportunity to continue expanding upon your musical and your clinical skills. A typical day could be coming in here getting your book ready for the day, seeing if there's any new patients for your caseload, and then going out onto the floor and working with patients all over the hospital. So while you're here at Children's Hospitals, there are gonna be a lot of opportunities for interdisciplinary treatment. Some of the areas that you will possibly have the opportunity to co-treat with is art therapy, child life, 
physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech pathology. Our interns have often shared how they feel prepared to walk into whatever setting awaits them after completing our internship program. Here at UPMC, we are very committed to being able to foster your growth and offer you an experience that really speaks to the diversity of learning. We are committed to providing you with an experience that really embodies letting you come out as the most authentic version of yourself. We are there as the army of creative arts therapists to help children cope during hospitalization, to express themselves, to tell their story about their medical journey through art and music therapy. So I think one of the most rewarding things about being the internship director is a chance to get to sit down and talk with students from across the nation and to hear their passion and to hear how excited they are about this. I am equally as excited to meet you as well. Thank you.